Hey guys, this is uh, Dan from Fisher Jeep Adventures and today we are going to install the Synergy um, rear track bar brake. So you might ask yourself, why would I want to install a rear track bar brace? Well, we've set our Jeep up for overlanding and we just want to reinforce some common uh, weak points uh, within the suspension specifically because we've overloaded it uh, from the standpoint that Jeep did not design this thing to overland uh, the way that we're doing it. So we've systematically been upgrading components to uh, make this thing more capable but also reliable. And this is just one more piece. So if this is something you're interested in, please hang around for the video. All right, so in the kit from Synergy Manufacturing comes the rear rear track bar brace. And what this does is it basically strengthens uh, the mount uh, that the rear track bar attaches to the frame. It comes with <clears throat> a spacer plate for the other side of the rear sway bar and all the required higher hardware we need to install it. Should only take us uh, 15, 20 minutes to do it. it just... All right, so first thing we gotta do is we gotta take loose the uh, sway bar on both sides and then uh, we'll take the track bar off and um, go from there. All right, those uh, sway bar mounts are 17 millimeter bolts and the track bar mount is a 21 millimeter bolt all right now that the track bar is out of the way we're just going to slide the uh, bracket right up into place So this bracket utilizes a hole that goes through the frame already. It incorporates the existing mount and then it has other structure that mounts to where the sway bar connects to the frame. So pretty easy. So all we gotta do now is add the extra bolt, put the track bar back in, put the sway bar back up and we're done. All right, we got the uh, through frame bolt in up there and now we've just attached a ratchet strap from the axle to the body to get the uh, track bar back in alignment. Tie this slowly together to get those bolt holes to line up. All right, now that we've gotten the um, track bar bolt in all the way, we'll release this, track, this uh, ratchet strap. We'll tighten the top mount, tighten the track bar mount, and then uh, we'll connect the sway bar back up and torque everything down. So the only thing that's left to do is on the other side, you get a shim that is the same thickness as the reinforcement plate so that the sway bar isn't um, off of alignment. All right, guys, so that was the installation of the uh, Synergy uh, rear track bar uh, frame support bracket. So I think it's just gonna make a strong connection um, from the rear track bar mount to the frame itself. Uh, that way the loads that we're putting on it um, doesn't put any stress on that uh, original bracket from the factory. So let me let you take a look at it real quick. All right, and there it is installed. So you can see that it goes through the frame that you have the track bar mount um, and it's pretty much stock location utilizing the stock mount itself. You have a spacer on uh, the passenger side from the bracket itself, and then it comes with a spacer on the uh, driver's side so that the sway bar sits at the same height. All right, so uh, that was the install. It took, um, I don't know, 25, 30 minutes to do uh, basic tools with the vehicle on the ground. Now I did take the passenger side rear tire off to be able to get that frame through bolt um, through because it's a little bit too long. Other than that, um, that was it. So pretty simple. I think it's an effective piece to strengthen uh, the Jeep frame. I hope you guys got something from the video. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing, like, leave a comment. I try and get back to you as soon as I can. 
usually within the same day, if not uh, within a couple hours of when the comment gets posted. So if you're a current subscriber, I really appreciate you all coming back. And uh, this is Dan from Fisher Jeep Adventures, and we'll see you on the trail.